Hi guys, this is Phil from FunnelTips.net. Just going to do a quick video today on A-B testing landing pages or split testing landing pages and what it actually is. So in this video, we're going to cover what is A-B testing, also known as split testing, how do you do it and why you should be doing it. So this video is for you if you want to save money in your marketing costs and increase your customer conversions without spending any more money and to make your business more profitable. So what is A-B testing? So A-B testing or split testing is the process of testing two versions to find the best option for your customers so similar to market testing which a brand will undertake when they launch a new product so ab testing is the digital method for us to test what our customers or prospects prefer when they visit your pages and view your content online so by ab testing your landing pages we can easily and quickly understand what our customers prefer by measuring their actions so the first step in creating an ab split test is deciding what you're going to test and the principle of ab testing is to test small changes each time until you achieve your winning or final version and you can test a number of different areas depending of what you're actually testing but the most popular areas to test are the headlines page content videos or images calls to action and forms so in this example here we can see we're running an a b test and this item is highlighted and we're going to test the video area of the landing page so we got our a version and, and our control is called the a version and then the variant will be called the b version and that's the one we're going to be using to test so in the next stage of testing we've created our two variants and then we're, now we're going to run traffic to those two variants to understand and review then after a period of time so we can run traffic to it for a period of days or we can do it for you know a volume paid volume but then what we're going to do is review the outcome of those two tests and in this example we can see that option a had a 20 percent conversion rate which equated to 2000 in sales and version b had a 50 percent conversion rate which equated to five thousand dollars in sales so from this we can see that now version b is our winner and what this means then you could either stop your test and that point and switch your all your traffic to your version b or you could continue to test then further iteration so you know you've got an improvement already with your version b and you continue then to test test a different area so whereas if in this instance you tested the video placement now we can either test further the video placement or we can actually say okay well this time let's just test different headline but in this example here this is our second round test we're going to test another variant now so we're testing here we've got a small video placement now we're looking at a landing page with a large video placement and less text so we're going to see which version now performs best in this scenario and so this is our second round test and then again we split the traffic between the two landing pages so the 50% of our traffic goes to option A and 50% of traffic goes to option B and we can see that our option A was our previous option B but the winning or original page is always referred to as the option A page so we've got a new contender so A is as often called the champion and B is often called the challenger so now we've got a new challenger and which we're testing our traffic going to this and we can see now we run 50% of traffic to both landing paid options but we can see after the again duration of time of period of traffic whichever we're going to judge the winner by we can see now version B is the winner again and this time it doubled the sales of the option A for the same amount of visitor traffic so by keeping to iterate our landing paid options we can see how we gain improvements in our marketing spend without actually increasing our marketing spend and by achieving these increases in marketing improvements we can actually you know we can choose to increase our marketing spend to leverage that further or we could reduce our marketing spend having got a more efficient landing page from our split testing so the takeaway for this guys is you know test all your landing pages all your web pages every item within your marketing content you no know, benefits from you testing it you don't know what's really best for you visitors until you test it and often the things you think are the best options often aren't so you only know by testing and you can save you know a lot of money in your marketing if you test and it doesn't have to cost you a lot to test you just need to implement the testing for a period of time and keep improving your offers keep improving your landing pages so keep keep increasing your conversions and increasing your marketing effectiveness so as a takeaway remember the a b testing you start with a baseline you keep tweaking it and you only want tweak one thing at a time if you tweak more than one thing you don't actually know what was the thing that was creating the benefit or the negative effect so just test one thing at a time continue to test until you're satisfied with the level of output or throughput whatever it is you get from your marketing efforts so look out for my next video and i'll show you how to easily implement a landing page and create a b split testing with some easy to use software and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you soon on the channel